For this video, we will be focusing on the dramatic rise in per capita consumption of poultry meat in Ghana, and how it leads to a great opportunity for Ghanaian soybean farmers. As we can see by the moving bars, the per capita consumption of poultry meat in Ghana has increased by over 300% since 2000, and is expected to more than double to 12.6 kilograms per capita by 2030. Currently, to feed the rising per capita demand, Ghana imports 100,000 tons of poultry to go along with the 22,400 tons of poultry supplied by Ghanaian poultry producers. Given that the main source of protein for chicken is soybean meal, theoretically Ghana requires an estimated 8,000 metric tons of soybean meal to feed the chicken. If per capita consumption were to rise to 12.6 kilograms in 2030, the demand for poultry will be 350,000 metric tons and the demand for soybeans will increase to over 160,000 metric tons. The gross receipts from the increased demand for soybeans are estimated at 65 million US dollars. Next, we expect that as the population of a country becomes wealthier, the amount of protein consumed per person increases. Countries differ, not only in the rate of increase of income, but in their preferences among the various types of protein. To further strengthen the argument of the rise in soybean demand in Ghana, we use a dynamic income elasticity plot from Global Food in 3D. This feature shows us the correlation between per capita gross domestic product and per capita consumption of poultry meat across the Feed the Future countries. Around 2006 and 2007, Ghana separates from the cluster as its income is rising rapidly at the same time as its consumption per capita of poultry. This strong correlation in Ghana continues until 2030, following an almost perfect 45 degree line, indicating a very strong positive relationship between the variables. Therefore, this relationship supports our initial hypothesis of the need for a much larger production of soybeans in Ghana and an increased windfall for Ghanaian soybean farmers.